Good morning. So remember how yesterday when I showed you the thingy thing, there were like very high waves in the lagoon? Well, today is like the exact opposite. This is like the calmest water you might have seen. This is so beautiful. And I'm drinking instant coffee, but the instant coffee is actually from Bremen. That's crazy, right? In South Africa, I'm drinking instant coffee that is from Bremen. Not the best representation of my city, I guess, because it's instant coffee. We, we are um, uh, heading out here at 10 a.m., I think. And then on the way back, we're stopping at a winery for, I don't know, for looking at it. And then we're gonna head back. So firstly, the Sauvignon Blanc, which is for you, and also I think for you, sir. Um, so the Sauvignon Blanc, it's naturally high acidic grape. And then if you smell it, you pick up grassy aromas, lots of passion fruits, gooseberry flavors in the palate. So this is a warmer climate Sauvignon Blanc, um, well balanced acidity, 2018 vintage. It's very crisp and fresh, and it is unwooded. And then the Chardonnay Pinot Noir, it is a blended wine of 60% Chardonnay and 40% Pinot Noir. So it's more like a dry rosé style of wine with lots of ra uh, strawberry flavors, hints of yellow apple. And it's 2018 vintage, which is unwooded. It's very fresh and crisp. Okay. And then... Is it a popular wine? Um, Chardonnay, yes, in South Africa. Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. It's That's a very interesting. popular wine. And then with the Chardonnay, Chardonnay it's naturally high acidic but not so much aromatic on the nose. So you pick up lots of citrus fruits, limes, lemons on the palate and this is 2017 vintage, also unwooded. So these are the type of wines that you can enjoy on their own and also with your light meals because yeah. they are made to open now, drink now wines. So can I ask you with your yes. white wines, how, how long, when's the best time to drink them? It's sooner. Uh, Obviously it's, the reds it's are sooner, longer, yes. But, but yes, sooner. Wines. It's open now, drink now wines. As I've said, they are lifestyle wine, easy drinking, everyday drinking okay. styles. But if you want to keep them, I would say five years in your cellar. Okay. Yes, so okay. you can keep them in your cellar. Okay. And then the red wine, six years to seven years, not more than that. Okay. And then um, with the red wines from the signature, they only spend eight months in the French oak. So the reason behind that, the shorter period of time, is for you to get more of the original fruit flavors from the grapes, not so much of the secondary flavors, since they are more level entry wines. Okay. So the Pinot Touch, it's a uniquely grown South African grape. It was discovered in the year of 1925 by a professor called Abraham Perold in the University of Stellenbosch. So it's a hybrid grape that is made from Pinot Noir and the Hermitage. It took a stem of both, cross-breeded them. The Hermitage is known as a sin soul today. So the Pinotage is very aromatic, has lots of plum fruits, red fruit flavors. The tannins are, are, are full of are high tannins, but they're quite soft. This is 2017 vintage. And then the Shiraz, it's known for its spicy characteristics that are what you pick up on the palate, on the nose to the palate. Spicy peppery flavors, has lots of red fruits, and this is 2017 vintage. And then the Cab, the Cabernet is known for its thicker um, skin, and it's known for when it's blended, it always acts as a backbone to the wine. So since this one had not much of the oak barrel, you pick up the original blackcurrant fruits, um, pencil shavings, aromas, it has lots of black cherries as well. This is a 2017 vintage. So, 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 so would, these, would these be better to wait for these as well, even though they're your everyday, yes. would it be better to like say, yes. it'll be really uh, good in five years time? Uh, three years time, four years time, yes. Remember with wine, it gets better with age, yeah, so sure. these also. <laughs> okay. So. okay, any questions? Yeah, yeah. Enjoy. Yeah. Thank you. I'll bring the cheese plate. Thank, you. Thank you. So you heard it, people. Whatever she said. <laughs> to make it a real wine tasting, we also <laughs> got a cheese platter. Got some cheese. Got some cheese. I'm just smelling the wine. <laughs> so we just finished our wine tasting, and gotta say it was really good. They gave us a lot of wine. 
I feel like my sunburn adds nicely to the effect. No, I actually spitted all of it in here, but... Um, actually, no. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Yeah, I drank all of it. He's like, lying. you see all of these glasses? Yeah. I drink all of them. No, you actually drank a few slips. He's lying. He's lying. He's lying. He's yeah. He drank, he, drank, he drank most of them. Being called out. <laughs> no, but this one, this one was really, really good. Um, what's your recap? Uh, my recap is... Oh, which one's the favorite wine? Just my say your favorite, favorite wine. It's the creative block. Yeah, creative block five. What's in there? It is a blend of Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, Malbec, and Petit Verdot. Got it. Yep. So, what was your favorite? Uh, my favorite was the signature uh, Sauvignon Blanc from Spear. Nice. Lovely, lovely wine. Crisp, fruity, fresh, everyday wine. Good to have with fish and so maybe that's chicken. So that's a white wine. Yeah, it's a white wine. White wine for you, yeah. red wine for me. For me, it was actually the creative block three was this one um, with Shiraz, Mubedre, Viognier. Actually, all of us didn't choose the most expensive one. Yeah, we didn't. We had, we had one, one of the very expensive ones and we actually, none of, none of us liked it the most. We all liked the inexpensive version of the Pinotage more. So, it was a really good experience. Um, and now, we, you know, Got to head home. He's driving, not me. <laughs> and right after we arrived, um, actually went back to work. <clears throat> I actually get the the um, the vlog for today, which is obviously from two days ago, up on time. So we actually didn't mi miss a single day. Not only do we miss a single day of the daily vlog, we also always post it on time, which is crazy. So that. Most of that credit goes to Ricky. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you did it. Thank you. Um, but most of that applause goes to Ricky because Ricky, you Ricky? guys know that. Ah, Ricky. I don't even know that guy. Um, he's, um, I don't know where he's from actually. He's, um, he has a beard and um, he does YouTube and stuff. Then why are we shouting him out? Oh, I don't know. Just a random Ricky. Ricky? Wherever you are, wherever you are, thank you for being my YouTube manager um, and making sure the videos upload on time. But also, we are flying back on Tuesday, today Sunday, which means um, I just had a weekend of no internet and I'm gonna have a flight that's gonna be 16 hours where I won't have internet. So that means tomorrow's gonna be um, a relatively busy day and then Tuesday, probably two before we arrive, departure. Um, but yeah, that's that's just a, like random quick heads up that you guys are not interested in at all because you know, but anyway, just wanted to let you know because you know that's what we do here, just letting you know about things that happen. Yeah, cool. So I'll get back to work now. Hard to wake up when